Hi guys, Glory Hunt back with a massive game on. And these are pickups from the last month or two. Um, so it might take me a while to remember where we've gone from and stuff like that. Most of them still have the sticks on, so I know the prices. Um, but yeah, got liquid refreshment on standby. Could be a long one, so grab yourself a drink and let's take a look at what we've been picking up over the last couple of months. So we'll start off with the last car boot we did, and this was a long time ago now. Um, so I made some notes so I could remember what actually happened because I knew it was going to be a while before I did this video. Um, so first of all, we got there really, really early. Like it was just kind of starting to get daybreak. Um, so it was bef before it was, we had them really dark uh, mornings, although they were starting to come in. So. Um, Straight off, there weren't much there. It was absolutely rubbish. Um, car boot, yeah, it was just a lot smaller than usual. I was just coming to the end of the season. It's the last one we did, and it's the last one we're going to be doing now for this year. There was a lot of guys around just jumping on stuff as soon as people were in there, just buying everything up. I mean, you literally had to be there a split second, lucky, to get your hands on anything decent. So, we um, missed out on a guy. Oh. A couple were selling a load of um, games and stuff, obviously. Uh, I think they had a bag of like GameCube games. And literally, as we got there, this guy picked them all up and gave them like stupid money, like cheap, uh, to pick them all up. And he was talking to them about them. And I'm sure they were all like GameCube games and that kind of stuff. He had a massive bag of them. So we just missed out on that. That was a shame. Uh, there was a GameCube controller there. I think she wanted like seven quid. I tried to get it down to five, uh, but she weren't having it. We weren't in great conditions. So we did leave that. Then there was another incident where I was actually looking at a Bruce Lee book. Uh, obviously, I like my martial arts, like Bruce Lee. And I weren't sure if I had it or not. So I was, they had two. So I was looking at the first one. I weren't sure if I had it. I, I just put it down so I could look at the second one. And as I'm looking at the second one, this lovely woman just come in, snatched it straight out, and just paid the woman. I'm like, it's in front of me. I was just looking at them. Um, but. Whatever, I was just so annoyed, I just put the book down and walked off, so we didn't get any of them. Like I said, I couldn't remember which ones I had anyway, so I'll check when I got back. Um, but yeah, so, uh, where else did we have? Well, there was a lot of instances where I picked up a game and just looked inside, and it had like multiple discs in it, like a lot of PS2 games that had like three or four discs in. Nothing great, so we didn't actually pick any of them up. Um, but it's always worth noting that even if it's a game you're not after, just having a, if you've got time, have a quick look in, there might be multiple games in there, or even in PS2 instance we've had before, a memory card in there, which is always worth getting, so something to bear in mind. Um, but anyway, let's see what we actually did pick up. So first of all, we picked up these. So I've got the card for a pound, and the Minecraft for two quid. Uh, traded in, the card weren't really worth anything, like literally, because we didn't pick much up, I just picked up to double my money, got two quid for that, and I think eight on the Minecraft. Um, so I made a little bit of profit there. Then the only other things we got were this uh, 360 demo, one I don't have. And this was only 20p, and like I say, it had two discs in. So we've got the demo disc plus a special Halo anniversary kind of disc. So it's a special edition, number 17, Halo 3 edition. Um, so I just need to find that obviously the case for that, but yeah, we've got a, a bonus disc in it for 20p, so not too bad. Um, we found this Mario badge. This was also 20p, so just because, like I say, it was dreadful, so just kind of scraping it stuff just to make it worthwhile going. Uh, we picked up a couple of Mario figures for a quid that we don't have yet. It's got the Mario in the tube. And he kind of pops down, rolls over, or rolls on the floor, thing or something. No, there we are. And he pops up. So there's our Mario and just our Toad figurine. So we don't actually need many more of these now. I think it's like maybe just one or two a set. A couple of sets are complete. And that was the car boot. Yes, it was dreadful. <laughs> so. We've sacked off the car boots for now, like I say, we've made a little bit of profit and we've got a little bit of stuff for the collection and bulk it out a bit. Yeah, it was naff. So, yeah, let's get on to the actual pickups um, from stores. 
So first off, looking around a cash converters, came across a couple of bits, looking obviously for some GameCube games, got Mario Left 15. A Final Fantasy 15 steelbook, which is different to mine, so I might keep an eye out for the price dropping on that. I might pick it up at some point, find one cheap enough. Uh, some more GameCube games, obviously Wii U and Wii games, and then we found this. Outrun 2006 Coast to Coast on the OG Xbox. Um, quite a, a sought after game. It does have the Ferrari sticker on it there. £24. It's about average for that, that kind of game. It is an expensive ish title. Um, so, yeah, a lot of 360 games. We didn't pick it up on this instance. Uh, some, a lot more OG games, but pretty much had them all. Uh, some. Mega Drive games, this one had obviously been trashed by a dog or something, absolutely mullered, uh, but we had another decent one next to it. A few DS games and then our PlayStation stuff. So, just show you guys that. And then the stuff we did pick up. So, first of all, I got these, and I can't remember where I got the first one from, like I say, it's been a while. The second one I definitely got from town in a... Fast cash, I think it was, and the guy let me have it when I opened the disc up or I opened the case up to have a look at the card, and it did. And it is the Taito Legends Collection collector cards. So, this was the first one we got, and it was the Rainbow Islands one, which is probably my second game favorite game of this set of six. That's number four, and then Bubble Bobble, which is the one I got from a uh, town from the fast cash and let me have this I did ask um, you know we sell it separately and it's like you know what just put it in your bag it's fine uh, so bubble bubble which is my favorite of the game I'm a massive bubble bubble fan this is number two so we have two of the collector cards now just need the game <laughs> so we pick them up then oh, these are kind of not in any kind of particular order of game genre uh, like types of Xbox, they're all going to be mixed up. They're in some kind of order of when I picked them up, so they've just been piling up. So I'm going to do my best to remember how we got these. So the first ones, I know I got these from uh, Game Changers and Burton. And initially, this is what we went over for. He put it up on his Facebook page. It's Shadow of the Colossus, the kind of um, cardboard slip one with the art cards. Is in mint condition, absolutely brand spanking new. Like I say, it's still in got a cellophane protector thing on it. Um, so I went over to get this. He would he'd give it to me, obviously under CX price as well. Uh, plus we picked up some more stuff, so he did me a deal in total. I can't now remember what that deal was, but it was a bloody good deal. Um, I'm not going to open it now, but it is in mint condition. In fact, you guys want to see it? Let's have a look. So yeah, here we are, look. Been after this game for a long time. A friend of mine does have this copy, and he's always showing me uh, screenshots and stuff of it. He brought it around for me to have a look at, and he got me into this game. He said, you need to play this, and yeah, it's a great game. I have completed the, the first kind of Colossi, and yeah, I've been playing it a little bit. Try not to damage it because he's damaged quite easy. I've seen a lot in CX and the outer covers are just trashed. So there is our inlay. Nice, beautiful artwork. So, our disc. And the artwork beyond the disc. Not a mark on the disc. It, it barely looks like it's been opened. This is why as soon as I seen it, I was like, okay, this is the edition I need. Uh, manual, crisp, not a fault on it. Okay, how straight that is, you can barely see it. Absolutely beautiful. And our art cards. So obviously a set of four art cards. There we are, some of the Colossi. Like I say, mint condition. Absolutely beautiful. Love the artwork for this game and the style of the game is just, yeah, it's outstanding. So really happy to have this, not only in the collection, but in this condition. I've just never seen one as, as mint and, yeah, 
as crispy as this so take an extra care with that so there is our shadow of colossus mint condition cardboard sleeve try and get that back in yeah so happy with that yeah and that is going to stay in its packet so the other games we picked up while we were there uh, another one i've been after for a while on the og i do have this on the playstation 2 is project zero on the og you had this up at eight quid like i say i picked all these up together for a deal it, again great condition so loving that uh, awesome game awesome game series i still need i think the third one i'm sure there's a third one uh, Super Monkey Ball Deluxe on the OG. This is just two quid. Obviously all complete. Great condition again. And one me and the missus has been after for a little while on the Wii. Donkey Kong Country Returns. And this was up at £6. But like I say, we got a deal on all of those games. We picked up them for that time. Um, I need some space. So yeah, I can't remember what he did them for in the end, but it was a really good deal. And like I said, the Shadow of Colossus was an absolute steal. So really thanks for that, guys. Um, awesome stuff. Uh, then, while we were over that way, we nipped into the CEX. And I think we picked this up from there. And it's Final Fantasy The Crystal Bearers on the Wii. This was up at five quid. Um, Pretty much a lot of got a lot of CX CEX stuff here. It was all on credit. I've not paid for a single thing. I've got so much credit on there now from chopping stuff in from either um, the car boots and charity shops and that kind of stuff. So there we are. Again, good condition. Another Final Fantasy game for the collection. Never realised how many Final Fantasy games there were out of the the numbered set, if you like. Um, so yeah, trying to collect up on them. Now this, I think I remember, was from Leicester CX on a trip, and it's Heroes of the Pacific. Now it was up at one pound fifty, but when he went to scan it, or when it went through, it actually came through at seventy five p. So absolute bargain on this one. So there we are, seventy five p for another OG game from the collection. And this may have been purchased at the same time, I think, and it's an army men game, which is supposed to be quite good. I've never really played one, so this is going to be my first one, and I have played it a bit. It does seem a lot of fun. Uh, it's Sarge's War, and this was 150. Obviously, all games are complete with manuals. Now, let's have a look. Now, these next few games, I think we went had a trip over to Loughborough to have a look around. This one was from uh, Cash Exchange, something like that. And again, a game I've been looking at for a while, but it just seems quite hard to get hold of. It's Dead Rising Chop Till You Drop on the Wii. So a kind of remaking of the first Dead Rising on the Wii. There we are. Again, I have played it a bit. Um, it's a little bit different. You don't actually use your camera in this or anything. So you can't take pictures of the zombies and that kind of element of the game is missing uh, but you do get to wave your arms around and try hack zombies up which is always fun um then while we're over there obviously we nipped in the cash converters only found the one title uh this was 50p it's tony hawk's american wasteland quite a few tony hawk's games to get through so that's one off the list then these Okay. Yeah, I think these three, these five were from the CEX over in Loughborough as well while we were there. And this is the first one we came across. It's Tales of Eternia on the PSP. So a nice little RPG kind of Japanese style. It was £12. Never really come across it before. Like I say, I had a lot of credit burning a hole in my pocket. So I wanted something a little bit more meaty than the pound and two pound tiles we're picking up. And I do like my RPGs on the PSP. Great system to play those games on. Then we have found Crimson Sea, exclusive Xbox game, six quid. Like I say, just picking up a little bit more expensive titles while we've got the credit. There we are. And 
obviously we bought it all with some cheaper titles so commando strike force for a quid we are going for the full set so we do need them it looks all right kind of a typical commando army first person shooter type game that crimson sea actually i've played a bit it's it's quite a strange game it's like a third person action game you you're going around um corridors firing enemies and stuff a little bit rpg um yeah but it seems all right i've been enjoying what i've played of it so far then for a quid we picked up charlie and the chocolate factory based on the tim burton's one i think doesn't say but it looked more that type and yeah in fact it does have the bumper lumper on the disc from the tim burton version so yeah got that one and a PS2 game, this I remember a friend having and playing, and it was quite an interesting game. It's Hurdy Gurdy for 150 on the PS2. So in this game, you kind of heard these little things here. This is you, and obviously there's this big pink bear, which I think can chase you and you have to escape from, and... Yeah, do little things. I've only played it a little bit. Like I said, I do remember it coming out and a friend having it. Um, but we'll see how that goes. Refreshment time. Hmm. Anyway, so another trip over to town, my local, and uh, looking in the CEX. I seen this the first time. Didn't pick it up. Regretted it. Went back a few days later and picked it up. And it's Capcom Fighting Jam on the OG. Again, this is another one that was up for six quid, but then when they scanned it, it was only a fiver. So got a quid off it as well. Not too bad, there we are. I have played it a little bit again, like I say. It's got um, fighters from different Capcom fighting games, so such as Street Fighter 2, Dark Stalkers, Street Fighter Alpha, and I think some more different Street Fighter games, so a lot of Street Fighting characters and then a few um, oddities from other games as well. Quite interesting, it's alright for a fighter. Uh, let me know if you played it, what you think of it. And then just for, again, this is another one that I found this quite a lot in my local CEX. It was up at 150 and then when they scanned it, it had gone down to a quid. So obviously, someone's not changing the labels, but bargain for me. So, got it for less than what I thought I was gonna. There we are. Oh, yeah, Dukes of Hazard. Return of January Lee, and I think this has some of the voices from the TV cast as well, and bonus cast interviews. So, if yeah, if you like that kind of stuff, I never really watched Dukes of Hazard, it was a little bit before my time, uh, but yeah, for a quid, not too bad. Another OG off the set. So, let me make some space on my temporary desk here, and we'll look at what else we got. So Moving on, we are here. Now these pickups are a little bit more recent. Um, we did go, I think we went over Burton again, that way. And I was looking in the chat shop and we found a couple of titles, which I obviously don't have now, because we literally traded them straight in to get some profit. Um, one was just Dance 3 on the 360. And I didn't realize at first, but obviously I just, Took it, checked out this disc in, checked it's all right. Took it straight over to the CX, whack it in. I think I picked it up for like one ninety nine. Only traded it in for like three quid, but obviously we made that quick. But when she opened it up to look at the disc, I didn't notice, but this fell out, and it's um, just down to two on the Wii. But as you can see, it is fake as hell. It's even a blue shiny copper disc. So she was, <laughs> it kind of fell out. It must have fell out of the manual. Fell out on the disc, and she's like, "Oh yeah, we can't take that." It's uh, we don't do this. And as I picked it up, so I was like, well, it's fake anyway. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I'll probably just chuck it. I've not even tried it if it will work. Uh, probably not. It does have a, I think, a little crack there anyway. So that's getting chucked. But again, always talk for them extra disc in cases. Um, there was something else we picked up and traded straight in as well. I'm trying to think what it was. It's definitely another title. It may have been something like a simple Mario Kart or something like that. But yeah, we found some else and that traded in to pay for some of these others. Uh, while we're over there, we looked in the old cash converters again. Um, they had quite a lot of stuff, but nothing I was 
really after, but we did see this for two quid, and it's a PlayStation 2 red memory card, one of the only colours I don't have. So that's nice to add to the collection. Give me a few more saves on my PS2 stuff. Um, this was in a charity shop, even though it has a cash converter uh, sticker on it. So it's Dead Man's Hand on the OG. The cash converter's price was only 50p, but they were selling it for 1.99. Uh, now I've not seen this before. It was a charity, so I don't mind paying like two quid, even though cash converters sell it for 50p. Whatever. I've not seen it before, so give them a two quid. Like I said, we found that Just Dance as well, and whatever the other game was, so we made our profit back. In fact, I've just remembered it was Grand Theft Auto 5 um, on the 360. We picked that up for 199 and traded it in for uh, six or eight quid, something around that. So yeah, whack that in. Um, yeah, we got this. And as I was paying for, for the games, I think it was in a Salvation Army. Uh, very pleasant guy on the counter, an old guy, and he was like, oh yeah, uh, we get a lot of games and stuff, there might be some in the back, um, I was like, oh right, okay, he's like, well, go have a look if you want, I was like, yeah, yeah, sure, so he went in the back, had, had rummage for a, a few minutes, come back out, I was like, oh, no, sometimes we, we keep stuff in the back and we just filter it out and put bits out of it, but everything's out in the mix, so we don't actually have anything in the back, um, but I was like, hey, thanks for looking, you know, always doesn't hurt to ask. So yeah, a very nice guy. Um, but we picked up a few bits. And like I say, we had a hell of a lot of credit. I've still got a lot of credit, actually. Um, so we dipped over to the CX, trade them in, and they had a lot of good PS1 titles. Now, we picked up two, and there were just a few problems with the others, which is why we didn't pick them up. Um, there was a Resident Evil Director's Court, which I'm after, but it didn't have its manual and that was good for like 25 quid so we weren't paying that without the manual they had a Grandia 1 on the PS1 uh, but it was the kind of blue box label not the full art so we left that uh, what else was there there was they had Overboard uh, twice they had a, a normal copy of Overboard and a mint copy of Overboard but the prices were quite high on that even though it's a game I am looking at getting so I remember I've got a demo of it it was quite a fun game um, Let's see, there was a Laundra, the first one on PS1, but I think the manual was quite beat up and uh, I don't think the disc was in great condition either. I think it was quite bad condition, so we left that. Uh, as I was looking at the games that I'd asked to look at that was in the cabinet, she kind of said, oh well, got a load more behind here as well, are you interested? I said, yeah, any PlayStation, Dreamcast, anything like that, let's have a look. So she got a load from behind the counter, massive piles. Piled them on the counter for me to have a look at. A lot I'd either got um, or weren't interested in, so weren't too interested in them. So, uh, But it was great. I mean, the guy that I spoke to was the most pleasant and helpful person I've ever found in a CAX. It was just a breath of fresh air. She was awesome. Uh, so it really helped me out as I was trading the stuff in and looking for these to, to get. So she put them aside, and anyway, let's have a look at what we actually did pick up. So, a game I've been after for ages. Like I say, I had a lot of credits and going for a few more expensive titles now. And it wasn't up at mint condition, I found out at the end why. Um, but it is pretty much mint condition, and it's Final Fantasy Anthology on the PS1. So it was up at 25. So this contains Final Fantasy 4 and 5. There is our back with some extra cutscenes and such. So there we are. Our discs and manual, which are in mint condition to be fair. Like the manual is perfectly fine, it's not been fondled at all. Discs are great, no marks. The reason it wasn't up at mint, and you probably won't even see this, I didn't see it start myself, but there is a slight crack in the case there you probably can't even see it so it's possible case replacement or like I say you can barely see it and the case is actually other than that really nice and shiny and no marks so yeah happy to get that and the other one we did pick up I was all minoring about it a little bit again it was up at £25 but it's Breath of Fire 4 again not mint condition but really good condition so 
here we are our disc and manual now the manual it's it's okay it's good it's flat there is a little kind of I don't even know what it is like a little roughage there and yeah it's a really flimsy manual actually but yeah other than that it it was alright and I didn't realise at first as well it had on the back it had a massive sticker across it so you couldn't see it. and as I took the sticker off when I got back again it's got a crack across the bloody case but something you can always swap out so I can get a new case for it but other than that it's really good condition so quite happy with them actually so a couple of nice PS1 titles to add to the collection games have been after for a while do like my RPGs now while we're in there I also came across this now this was sitting on the shelf actually, another CX I've been into and seen this before, it was just behind the counter um, but it didn't have its manual and it was in bad condition. But this one, and the price has gone down on this actually, it's usually well over 20 quid, 25, I've seen it going upwards of even more than that, even to I think 50s or 60s in some places. But anyway, they've got it up at £18 and it's the last one I need for the trilogy and it's Shadow Hearts Covenant on the PS2. So up at 18 quid. Case is in great condition. The manual is flat and pristine. We've got both our discs. Now the second disc hasn't been touched, it's absolutely mint. The first disc does have a few scratches on it and a few marks, but I've played it, I've tried it, it's fine. So happy to add that in the collection now as well. And like I say, under 20 quid, it's quite a bargain for that game, I think, so not too bad. Now the other couple of titles we picked up while we're in there was a couple of OG titles. We got our Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition for a quid. There we are. Finally getting up now. Another exclusive on the OG, Rally Sport Challenge 2 for 150. They had a lot more OG stuff in there, but I've got them all now. So it's getting hard to find games in the wild that we actually need. We've gone to, we went to one place and they had loads of OG. I was like, oh, look at all this OG goodness. Flicking through, flicking through, flicking through. Got them all. <laughs> Gutting. Uh, but yeah, it's always nice to have a look. So that was it from that CEX. Like I say, very pleasant girl. And we're going to give some good feedback on the, uh, the seat you can give feedback for how like, your experience was in store. So it's going to be one of the only times where I do give feedback to a store because the customer service was actually on this time on point it was the best i've ever had from cx so well done you anyway while we we're there they had a that's entertainment so we stuck our heads in to have a look they had quite a lot of games i was flicking through for ages and then right at the bottom we've got an og um section across the whole shelf i think this is one of the times i was looking for all the games got them all and literally right at the end the last few games i looked at found three that i needed and i say three because they're in a deal which was three for a fiver or 199 each so I picked up this one first and this is why I went for the deal and this is in mint condition as well which is always nice it's Arctic Thunder on the OG so like I say yeah mint condition on this one manuals nice and flat it's obviously a kind of skidoo racing game I think which is quite interesting been on a skidoo they're a lot of fun uh, the other one was Battlefield 2 Modern Combat on the OG. And CSI, uh, Scene Investigation on our OG. So there was that, that trip. Now we still have a few games to go. So or liquid refreshment. Mm. Right, I feel like talking. Let's have a look what else we've been picking up. So, I think, yeah, while we were over there actually with them, we nipped into the game. And obviously we're getting these pops, these leave arcade mini pops. Um, they had two, they had this one and a Miss Pac-Man one. I left the Miss Pac-Man one, picked this one up because it didn't feel as heavy as the Puka that we are, which we've already got. So I took a chance on it, and this is what we got. I have already opened it, I do know what it is. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna unopen it for you now. Live, we got our Dig Dog. 
So there he is. We now have our Dig Dog main character to go with our others. So that's pretty cool. Glad we've got a different one. And like I say, we're in a Dig Dog box, so you can kind of look at what you want. Stick that there. Then a few other games we've been picking up. Uh, a new game. Obviously, with this, we got the T-shirt, which is this one. It's the Evil Within 2. So this was kind of a collector's edition. Got this from Game Pre-ordered. And if you pre-ordered it, you got £5 off the game, which is a nice bargain. Uh, not something game always do. So we've got our little leaflet inside again. Bethesda games are starting to do this now, so that's nice. We've got controls. We got an extra DLC last chance pack. And again, the leaflet with stuff coming, Prey and Wolfenstein, which we'll be picking up. You've probably seen the unboxing already. So with this, we also got a steel book, which is a really nice steel book. It's kind of shiny. Yeah. I'll work inside if you can see that due to the glare. There we are. And a metal welcome to union sign. Steel. You can hear that it's plastic. Yeah. Sign from the game. Kind of a metal poster. It's got holes in so you can stick it on the wall or what have you. And the t-shirt. So yeah, I actually got this edition, because I pre-ordered it, cheaper than the normal edition on its own. So that's always good. And a couple of games you've probably seen from my unboxings, we picked up our Shadow Wolfenstein 2. Show you quickly, you may have seen the unboxing, check them videos out if you haven't. Some great stuff in the Plex editions. And our Assassin's Creed Origins, another new game. So there we are, you've probably seen the unboxing of that. If not, go check them out. My battery is flashing, so we're going to get through these last three games. So I took another trip into town, another CEX. Uh, we got our... Star Wars Jedi Knight Academy. This was up at seven. Did also have a Mortal Kombat um, Shaolin Monks, but it didn't have its manual, which I was absolutely gutted about because it was quite cheap as well, and it's the last Mortal Kombat I need. But hey ho! Then we were nicked over to Game World and found these. So these were slightly cheaper than the CX prices, and I traded in something I can't remember and um, we got these so we've got our uh, Alondra 2 just have a nasty sticker there but I'm sure that'll come off this was 9 99 and for once the cases aren't cracked on a PS1 game which is always nice our manual and disc and the manual is in good condition actually really good condition so happy with that another nice RPG to play and been after this for quite a while uh, Tutor did mention he was going to look out for it. Don't worry about it, mate. We've now got it because it was only $1.99. It's Chase the Express. And this is two discs. I didn't even realise it was two discs. Don't know why. Um, but yeah, our manual and two discs. Good condition again. Like I said, the case isn't cracked, which is why I picked it up. Because finding PS1 games without a cracked case is bloody rare. So really happy to get those two. We'll test them out. And breathe! That is our pickups for the last couple of months. Hope you've enjoyed, guys. Hit us a like if you have. Any comments about any of these games, whack them down in the comment box. What were your favourites? Do you have any of these? Please let me know. I love talking about them. Uh, subscribe for future videos. Going to do wait till I've got a massive haul again and do a bigger haul like this. Um, so, what do you think? Did you like this longer video? Uh, seeing more games or just prefer them small, quick, bang them out videos? Um, I quite enjoy doing this, so I'll probably wait till I've got a decent haul again and we'll do something more similar to this. So, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for all my new subs, and we'll see you in the next one.